Let's find the volume of this rectangular solid. We're given its length, width, and height. Volume is the product of those three quantities. And when we multiply centimeters times centimeters times centimeters, the unit is clearly centimeters times centimeters times centimeters, which is written in more abbreviated form as centimeters cubed. Notice that we've employed the correct convention for significant figures and rounding. This first quantity has three significant figures. This one has two. This one has three. And since we're multiplying them, we need to round to the fewest, which is two. 2,600 cubic centimeters. Now let's do a simple conversion and convert that into cubic millimeters. We start with the quantity that we're given. Many of us know that there are 10 millimeters in one centimeter. And if we're not careful, we'll take 2600 times 10 and we'll say that that will be 26,000 cubic millimeters. But the problem is that this centimeter cubed here is actually centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. And that means that this unit of centimeters in the denominator will only cancel one of those, and that there are two more that haven't been canceled yet. So what we need to do is we need this conversion factor three times. And you can either write it out two more times, or you can cube it. Which means when we convert 2,600 cubic centimeters into cubic millimeters, it turns out to be 2,600,000 cubic millimeters or 2.6 times 10 to the 6th millimeters cubed, or 2.6 million cubic millimeters, something like that. So, from this example here, millimeters and centimeters differ by a factor of 10. Square millimeters and square centimeters differ by a factor of 10 times 10, which is 100, and cubic millimeters and cubic centimeters differ by a factor of 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000.